boys and girls, it's Mrs. Arnold. I'm going to read you tonight's story. We're going to read A Pet for Fly Guy by Ted Arnold. My kids love reading books about Fly Guy. All right, A Pet for Fly Guy by Ted Arnold. A boy had a pet fly. He named him Fly Guy. Fly Guy was the smartest pet in the world. He could say the boy's name, Buzz. One day, Buzz said, Fly Guy, we are going on a picnic. Buzz and Fly Guy played chase all the way to the park. They ate lunch. They played together. They looked at clouds. They watched other people play with their pets. Wow, says Buzz, everyone has a pet. No pets. Oops, that's right, said Buzz. You don't have a pet. No pets. We will find a pet for you, said Buzz. Yes. But remember, you have to take care of it, said Buzz. Yes. And play with it, said Buzz. Yes. And feed it, said Buzz. Yes. Okay, said Buzz, let's go to the pet shop. At the pet shop, Buzz came out with a puppy. It licked Fly Guy. Buzz came out with a kitten. It swatted Fly Guy. Buzz came out with a frog. It chased Fly Guy. This isn't working, said Buzz. Only you can pick the best pet for you. Yes. Back at the park, Fly Guy found a worm. It was too slimy. Fly Guy found a spider. It was too tangly. Fly Guy found a cricket. It was too jumpy. Buzz said, let's think about this whole pet thing. Yes. You need a pet who likes to, er, likes to play, said Buzz, just like you. Yes. You need a pet who can do tricks, said Buzz, just like you. Yes. You need a pet who is a good friend, said Buzz, just like you. Yes. And, said Buzz, you need a pet with a cool name. Yes, Buzz. Buzz is pets. Me, said Buzz? You want me to be your pet? Please. I never thought of that, said Buzz. Okay, sure. I mean, yes. There's just one thing about being your pet, said Buzz. You don't have to feed me. Buzz said, do you know who's the best pet in the whole wide world? Buzz, no fly guy. Buzz, no fly guy. Buzz. Fly Guy. Buzz. Fly Guy. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed Fly Guy. See you later.